Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's a beautiful day here in Franklin, Tennessee, and I hope it's gonna stay that way all weekend. Let me pull up my comments so I can see who gets on, hopefully. I spent a little bit more time yesterday working on this um, Kleenex box, so I'm gonna show you that. So welcome to Crafting and Cruising. So glad you're here. Hope you will um, spread the joy of this video with others. Um, I'm going to do something real special very soon. Um, I think it's special to try to build my page. Um, I'm going to invite you all to um, spread the information about my page to your family and friends and invite them to follow the page. And um, for those who do that, um, I want them to, when they follow, either private message me or comment that they followed and who sent them to my page. And then those people who followed will be entered into one drawing and those who sent them will be entered into another drawing. Both of those people who win the drawings will get, um, um, some happy mail from me. So it's hopefully a little incentive for you to invite people to come over and watch and see what we do. Um, building a, a page like this takes time and patience and I know that. Um, I said from the beginning that I'm not um, interested in huge numbers. Um, if it's going to require me to um, spend time away from my family to achieve that. Um, if it happens on its own, that will be wonderful and I will welcome it. Um, but I am just um, happy when people come on here, whether live or in the replay, to um, see what I'm doing. Um, I've been crafting and doing painting, um, both watercolor and acrylic and mixed media for years. Um, I just started really getting into crafting during the pandemic um, after swearing I would never become a crafter because I absolutely loved watercolor and mixed media. Still do. I don't do much watercolor anymore, um, but uh, I do some mixed media and I miss doing the watercolor. Um, and one day I'm going to set up a Shopify store and put some of my watercolor and acrylic and mixed media paintings um, for sale um, so that I can help build this page as well. I see two people are on, but so far I can't see who it is either on my phone or my computer. So hopefully I'll see who it is soon, but thanks for being on. And please, oh, let me mute this, please spread the joy. So anyway, that's just a little incentive I'm gonna do. If you miss it, you can go back and watch the replay about an incentive to try to help me build my page. Um, I wanna show you all, I did yesterday afternoon continue with the stickles on the tissue. Uh, box and I also added a B on the other two sides that I had not added a B just because I think it really gives it a little ump. So here's the stickles which really just make those flowers pop rather than kind of fade into the background. Sometimes you want things to fade but sometimes you want them to pop. So the stickles are all now dry you can see where yesterday I added a few little bling pieces in the centers of some of the flowers. Um, there's one here and there's two here. And thanks Fran, thanks for coming on. And I'm probably gonna add some more. Um, you know, I'm leaving town and going to the river to um, house and cat sit for some friends and I'm gonna be doing some crafting there. So I'm gonna ponder it probably will put a few more of these little blings in the center of the flowers just to make them pop. I think because those are silver, I'm not gonna use the gold Robert Stanley wrap around the top, just one row of it. If I did anything, I would do silver because I'm using the silver blings, but I'm probably not even gonna do that. So. This will be finished once I put 
put all the little blings on and I love it. Remember it's a $3.99, um, I think that's what it was, $3.99 uh, metal tissue holder from Goodwill. I first put a coat of, um, what is it I put a coat on to kind of make it not so shiny. And I talked about it yesterday and said I don't really like it. Um, next time I'm just going to actually use chalk paint, which I did put white chalk paint on here too before decoupage the napkins on. So that's that. Before I get into the project I'm going to do today, I want to show you when I went Goodwill shopping the other day, look what I got for $2.99. Isn't that fabulous? Perfect condition. So I think what I'm going to do is to um, chalk paint the inside of this. I'm going to decoupage a piece of paper on it and then I'm going to resin it so that it will be food safe. And then I'm going to get some handles and put right here and right here so it can become a tray. I really want, I'm gonna to go to Hobby Lobby because I really want maybe some of those old um, black iron handles that kind of, you know, came up in a point like this and came down and then went into a point like that. I think that that would look really good on this rustic tray. But what a steal for $2.99. I was thrilled to find it. Um, so now I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do today. This is a record album. Goodwill. I put the guts to a clock in it after I poured a paint. And you all know I love pouring paints. Miss Shaleen, my sweet, encouraging sister, good morning. Um, did this a long time ago, the paint, but just did not put the clock in it yet. So I've got several of these ready to go. I just love how the cells pop up through my, through the paint. This is very beachy colors, but I love it. And I'm going to show you what I'm gonna do to make the clock. I tried the other day to put some clock hands on it and I don't think I did it right, so I'm gonna wait till my husband can help me do that. But here's what I'm gonna do. Let me turn the camera down. <clears throat> I bought some numbers from Hobby Lobby and they're black. Now, it may not look as good black on this poured painting, but once I get them all on here, if I don't like them, then I can dry brush over them in a silver or a gold metallic to make them pop. I did get black hands with the silver second hand. So actually I would probably use um, a metallic silver. Hot morning, 92 here in Arizona. Oh my gosh. You know what, Micheline? It's not too much cooler than that here in Tennessee. It is cooler, but it's not too much cooler. Um, I am so ready for fall. So, 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 so ready for fall. Um, can't wait to start doing all the fall decor, get out all my stuff I did last year. Um, I'm ready. So what I'm gonna do to try to place my numbers correctly, I really think that I need to actually remove this um, clock mechanism so that it will lay flat and I can really make sure that my marks are in the right place. I may have put it on here so tight it may not come off, but hopefully I can get it off. I hope everybody has fun plans for Labor Day weekend. I mentioned yesterday we're going to house and cat sit for our friends who live on a beautiful, beautiful piece of property 
on the Cumberland River and they've got a pontoon boat and some of our family I think is going to come down and we're going to take the boat out if the weather permits. So here's what I'm going to do. Now I've got that off. I'm going to lay this flat and with the hole right here I can pretty well determine where my center is on the record both vertically and horizontally. But I'm gonna allow a little bit of extra because I'm using chalk. Now this has already got a finish coat on it, so it's not gonna be quite as easy. Hi Debbie, my sister. Um, it's not gonna be quite as easy to write on it with the clear coat, but I'm gonna, I'm just, this is just for temporary purposes anyway to get my numbers in the right place. All right, so I'm gonna draw a line straight down the center. I have to go over it a couple of times. And that wasn't straight down the center. See, this chalk is so wide that that went a little bit to the right. So let me move it over just slightly. So hopefully it will be this time in the center. That'll give me 12 and six. Then I'm going to do the same thing for three and nine. I'm going to center it, bring it down a little bit to allow for the chalk mark. Draw a line straight across. This is how we measure for our checks, too, when we're doing checks, especially on a round or not symmetrical piece, we um, divide it into a pie because that way you'll know, you know that you'll have equal numbers. And when you're doing black and white checks or any color checks on something round, you wanna make sure that you have um, an equal number of checks. So it'll come out equal. Okay, so now I have 12, six, nine, and three, okay? So now I'm going to divide those in half by again bringing my ruler and placing it right over the center of that hole. This would have been so much easier if I had done this before I finished it, but if I had done that, then I would have had to, it would have been a little bit precarious to try to finish. Um, put a top coat on it once I got it done. Okay, so let's make sure this is even. And I think that's about right. Good thing about using chalk is if it's not right, you can just go through and wipe it off. No problem. Mm, they may not quite be even. If my husband was here, he would do it mathematically. Uh, that's not me. Okay, so we have 12, 1, 3, 5, 6, um, 8, no, is that right? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, hmm, may not have done it right guys, let me see. This is going to have to go. Let me move my computer back where I'm seeing comments so I can lay this out properly. Mm. Where's my mathematicians that can tell me how to do this? Now I needed to do those lines. Let me take these lines off so I can figure out those other parts. Because I know 12, 6, 3, and 9 are right. Okay, so we got 12, 6, 3, and 9. Now I have to divide those, each one of those, twice. 10, yeah, I got to divide each one of these quadrants twice. 
<laughs> Husband, where are you? Um, well, you know what? We're just gonna... We're just gonna do our best. Um... <laughs> This makes me nervous. I should have really figured all this out before I came on here. Let's just see what happens. If not, I'll just put 12, 6, 9, and um, 12, 3, 6, and 9 on there. And then I can figure it out later. Okay, that might work. Let's see about this. I am not at all algebraic or geometrically inclined in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Rodney can do it in his head. I am totally lost as to where to even begin. I don't even try. I don't think that's quite even. Okay. I don't want to keep you all on here while I'm trying to figure all this out. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to do 12, 6, 9, 12, 3, 6, 9, and then I'm going to let Rodney help me with the other ones, and I can show you the finished product, because really, the only thing I have to do is put the numbers on here evenly, put the clock guts on here, and let it go, and they really turn out so, so pretty. If you've never tried board painting, you need to try it. It's fun. Now, it can be very tedious, especially if you don't get the recipe right and you don't get what you want, but you have to be very patient and you have to understand that what you get when you first pour the paint and maybe swipe over it or blow over it or whatever is not going to be what you're going to end up with because as it dries, the cells come up, the cells go down. Um, so, you never know what you're going to end up with. So, let's see what we can do about getting some of these numbers on here. All right, so I've got my glue gun set up, but I'm going to have to do it quick because the battery just died. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on here. Maybe. I don't think I'm about out of glue. Two. Okay, so I'm going to put my one, make sure it's straight, and then, uh, if you ever want to make a spider web, just get glue sticks. Good grief, these things. I tell my husband, I said, if you want to get rich, you need to come up with some stringless hot melt glue, because you could get rich. All right, now let's put the two on there, let me get those extra pieces off. Okay. I'm going to do this quick and then I'll show it to you because my glue is rapidly um, cooling off and I don't have any more glue in here because I packed it all to take with me this weekend. Let me see if I can get these at least on so you can see kind of what it's going to look like. And then we can finish it later together. Six. Here's a six. Three's a little crooked. Okay, let's spread this around. Four, six. Put it right in the center of that line. And then, let me find the nine. I think this is nine. Nine and six look just like. Okay. Sorry, guys. I wasn't as prepared as I thought I was. And I know this can be very boring. Okay. Twelve, three, six, nine. And then, when Ronnie's with me tonight, we'll mark off 
He's given me the formula before to figure it out, but I don't remember it. So I probably will. I don't know if, I, if I've woven them in silver or not because the hands are black. So I don't know if I will or not. We'll just see how it looks when I get it all done. But um, that's the project I'm starting today. Um, I probably will be working on some fall crafts while I'm camping and uh, while I'm house sitting. But remember, I told you that um, the internet is not good there at all. Um, in fact, to get decent internet, I usually have to go outside. Um, so, I don't know how conducive that'll be to crafting, but we can, we can try it and see. Um, so remember, I said at the beginning that I'm trying to build my page. I have a whole, 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 whole lot to learn. Hi, Sister Kimberly. Um, a whole lot to learn. And, um, we're still working on trying to get, um, clear reception in my art studio out there. And, I mean, everybody you talk to at Best Buy or anywhere, electronics, they all tell you something different. So, um, Rodney, bless his heart, has been trying to get it hooked up and... So far, it's just not working. Um, so, and then we have to fight the same battle in the camper because we don't always have good reception when we're camping. So, we will eventually get it all figured out. I don't have super high expectations um, right now for, you know, building a huge page. But as I said in the beginning, because I am trying to build my page, um, I'm going to do like a little incentive where um, I'm going to ask you to spread the joy, spread the love, whatever you want to call it. Just don't say S-H-A-R-E out loud on Facebook. Um, and um, invite your friends to come and join and fo or follow the page. And if they follow, they'll need to private message me or put in the comments um, how they heard about my page, who they heard it from. Then everybody who does follow, new, their name will go in a pot for a drawing for some happy mail from me. And whoever recommended that they follow my page, their names will all go in a pot. And um, they will get some happy, whoever wins that will get some happy mail from me. So that's kind of a way for me to try to incentivize people to share Oops, I said it. Um, spread the joy and um, invite people to come um, and, you know, just see what happens. I am, I do have a, a very um, highly regarded crafter who's going to help me set up a Shopify store. And when I do that, um, I will also be putting some of my watercolor paintings, mixed media paintings, um, acrylic paintings in there to sell. Um, so, that will come soon enough. I'm just not rushing it right now. So, um, I will at least post something on my page every day while I'm gone, even if I don't get to go live because of the reception. Um, I will post something. Kimberly, hold on just one minute. I'm going to show you my box that I finished, although I may still add some more bling to the centers. But I did put a, uh, I'm trying to get this excess blue in here. I'm I uh, put a V on each side, and then I showed this piece that I got for $2.99 at Goodwill that I love. I'm going to decoupage in the center, then I'm going to resin it, then I'm going to put um, a handle here and a handle on the other end, so it'll be a food safe tray. Absolutely love it for $2.99. Um, so, let me see what you have written. Keep doing what you're doing then we'll come thank you sister um so here's the 12 3 6 and 9 kimberly if you were here you could help me figure out the mathematics to do the other ones evenly but that's not me so i gotta get rodney to help me with that um and here is the box with the stickles that side already has some bling put in the center and a B. This one I stippled up and put a, a, a B. Same on this side. Same on that side. So if I do anything at all, 
additional. I will just put one row of the Robert Stanley in silver around here. Since the inside is silver and since the little things that I'm using in the center, even though I cut the wire off, they still are surrounded by silver. So um, anyway, that's that. And um, I appreciate you guys getting on and I appreciate you following and I appreciate you sharing, sprinkling. I'll get kicked off before I can even get on good. <laughs> Um, and so anyway, remember I'll, I'll be on if I can get reception. Um, if you have any, uh, ideas for fall crafts, um, that you want to share, I would love it if you would do that. Also, I haven't said this in a while, but I need to remember to say it each time. It's my privilege and my honor and my joy to pray for people, no matter what the need is. And so some people feel comfortable posting in comments and if you do that's totally fine please do um if you would rather you can pm me on this page or you can send me an email to craft and cruise at gmail.com and and is spelled out um and just let me know how i can pray for you um, i'm going to keep a, a little journal book with the names in there and um it's my joy to pray for you I would like to ask you to keep praying for my friend Joyce Knight um, that I met from another crafters page um, who has a lot of um, struggles. And so I would ask you to pray for her. I would ask you to pray, thank you Kimberly, to pray for um, um, a couple of situations in my life that I'm trying to deal with. Um, taking the high road and trying to figure out the best way um, to deal with it because um, one's a family situation and one's a friend situation and um, those kinds of things are not easy ever to deal with. Um, yes, Kimberly, our friend Kim Whitmore um, has a very sweet um, older lady friend that she has been close to for a long time and I think at some point even helped care for that um, lost her battle recently with cancer. She fought so hard and the sisterhood, Czech Savvy Sisterhood has been praying for her for a while and um, Kim has experienced a lot of loss in her life. Uh, some of her son's friends have passed. Um, this lady friend of hers passed. Um, and the older we get, the unfortunately, the, the more frequently that's going to happen. And so, um, People are grieving, people are hurting. Um, there's a whole lot of tension in our world and a whole lot of pain and negativity. So um, I wanna encourage you to be a light, a bright light um, in your sphere of influence, in your um, job, your home, and your circle of friends. Um, I would ask that you would pray for safety for those of us who will be traveling next week to San Diego, that we will all get there safely and remain safe and have a great um, fun time, which I know we will. My sister Kimberly and I will be um, sharing a room with two other sisters, um, Tony and um, who else are we sharing a room with? Tony, Diana, Diana and Tony. Um, and so we've um, all met and we're so super excited. Kimberly and I will be spending one day in San Diego just being tourists, I guess, and um, catching up with each other and then we'll go. Kimberly, what's the name of the town we're going to right outside of um, San Diego in the name of the place? It's like a five-star resort where our leader, Debbie Rigg, with um, Studio MDAZ and our Czech Savvy Sisterhood leader will be teaching a class for um, guests. And then those of us in the Sisterhood who are coming also will be participating in that class. We're gonna be making designer-like um, or designer-inspired makeup bags. Can't wait. Rancho Bernardo and Poway, yes, Poway, we're gonna be Right outside San Diego and Poway, so if you don't know it, look it up. Look up Rancho Bernardo. It's 
amazing. And um, so we're going to have a really good time. So pray for our families that are behind in our homes and uh, for safety. And just remember that um, in this time of desperation for a lot of people and uh, hurt and pain, a simple smile can brighten someone's day. A simple, how are you? Um, a simple, let me hold the door for you. Or not even say it, just do it. Um, carrying groceries out for someone older who maybe doesn't need or shouldn't be carrying heavy groceries. Um, telling the person in the fast food line, I want to pay for the person behind me and just do it, you know, without any recognition or pat on the back, just do it to, to make someone else's day. There's just so many ways you can be a positive influence. Um, get on Facebook and send someone a, a personal message or text them and tell them what a blessing they are in your life. Just do something positive. We could turn so much of this around if we, the people, would um, just be positive influences for those around us. So I hope your day is wonderful. I hope the weather's wonderful where you are. I hope you are blessed today by someone. I hope you become a blessing to someone um, and sparkle and shine wherever you go. And I will see you soon on this page. Thanks again for being on here. Bye.